Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So, but keep in mind the timing is still fluid. This is just a message that I'm picking up on. Okay, may or may not be for you. What do we have for a message today? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So this is love. It is emotional. It's probably going to be an emotional day. Um, this is a flood of emotion. It's the gateway to intuition. Things getting better. It's obviously an omen for love. Okay. An outpouring of love. So somebody is going to get an outpouring of love by the looks of things. I mean, that is love. The Ace of Cups is things getting better, expressing feelings. So there's going to be an expression of feelings, um, obviously. Could be a new start in love for some of you. For some of you, it could be a reconciliation. I mean, the Ace of Cups is, is love, okay? It's a new start in love, or it's an offer of love. Ooh, somebody is single and independent, you know, and they've been waiting. They've been waiting for somebody to give them attention. They may get it. They may get the attention that they're looking for. Anyhow, the Nine of Pentacles reversed is somebody needing to take action. Can mean so many things. We have somebody here that may be insecure. Maybe this is self-love because this is self and this is love. So, you know, we may have something to do with self-love here. And, you know, I have to tell you that self-love is more important than any other type of love. So, this is definitely about self-love. Once you love yourself, everything else falls into place. You're easier to love. When you love yourself, you're easier. It's easier for other people to love you. And I'm not saying you're not lovable if you don't love yourself. Don't, don't go down that road. But self-love is the most important love of all. So if it's Valentine's Day and you are single, love yourself. Anyhow, um, Nine of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is probably not happy. But there is love. There is love here. There is love. Things are going to change. This is the wheel of fate. This is the wheel of destiny. Okay? This is being at the right place at the right time. This is uh, positive change. A cycle is ending. So, if, you know, for the, for, and, you know, Valentine's Day for somebody that is single is a, can, can be a very difficult day. We may have somebody here that wants to be single, but they also want to be loved. But anyhow, and they don't realize their value. They don't realize their worth. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that may feel like they're inadequate or they may feel like they don't have enough to offer. They're, they're not good enough or something like that. That's not true. But anyhow... The Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. It is the end of a cycle. Things are about to change. There is big love here, okay? So there is definitely some big love here. Uh, but it starts with yourself. I just got to throw that out there one more time. Um, justice reversed. So justice reversed is unfair treatment. Things not turning out, um, a lack of a lack of uh, honesty, not wanting to be held accountable. There's a there's dishonesty here. Somebody may be being dishonest about their feelings or something like that, because this is feelings and this is dishonesty. Anyhow, justice reversed, lack of integrity, not doing the right thing unbalanced we may have somebody here that is unbalanced they're unstable and they're insecure and I know that I'm 
changing it a little bit, but this is insecurity. It's, uh, it's instability and unbalanced. We have somebody here that um, is probably being dishonest with themselves. It could be because this is a card of self. This is self, and this is lies. Somebody may be lying to themselves about their value or their worth. <laughs> Just saying. Anyhow, we do have a change of events here because this is a positive change going in a new direction. It's the end of a cycle where there's been some unfair treatment, where there's been an injustice. So there has been an injustice. There's been unfair treatment. There's been lies. There's been some sort of deception. Um, but things are going to change by the looks of things. We have love that is headed right towards somebody that is very confident, somebody that is very determined, somebody that is very proud, somebody that is very uh, ambitious. We have, this is positive thinking. So we definitely have love that is headed towards an individual that is strong, that has grown strong. This is a very strong individual who has experienced some sort of significant ending in their life. Okay, because if you think, but I just saw, first I saw the Leo card, and then I saw the Sagittarius. I, first I saw was the Strength card, and then I saw Temperance. So the Temperance would be, uh, comes after death. Anyway, I, I get my messages in a weird way. Somebody has been through a situation that has, uh, you know, ended, that has made them stronger. You need to, you need to hold your head up high and be proud of who you are. We have somebody here that is very attractive, has a lot to offer. This is somebody that um, is very, very powerful and it has some sort of, has something coming right towards them. Life is about to change. This is somebody that um, has obviously had to be strong. So we have a very strong, determined, uh, attractive individual here who has uh, probably learned something the hard way. Anyway, um, the Queen of Wands is somebody that is, is very, very um, sexy. It's a sexy energy. Life is about to change. Somebody is headed towards this person. Um, we have a change in direction here. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings to a person that um, has grown. This person has grown from an experience. And has been treated unfairly in the past. I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Seven of Pentacles reversed. That's unrealistic, dissatisfied. We have somebody here that isn't seeing themselves in a true manner. They may feel like they're not good enough, but they are. They are good enough. And there is somebody that is going to be investing in them with it, and they don't even know it. They don't even know it. It feels like this person is just focused on themselves. They're healing from some sort of injustice. They've grown in a very big way. They've experienced a massive ending because death comes before temperance. They've had to gain a lot of strength. They've had to let something go. And now, and it happened for a reason. Now there is something really, really positive that is headed their way. And I'm, it's, it, I'm telling you what, there's a big, huge love that is headed somebody's way. Things are going to change really, really fast, soon, very, very soon. Um, whoever this person is that doesn't realize that it's coming, it feels like they, they, they feel like this is a dead end. They feel like they're, that they're never going to get what they deserve. They feel like they're not valuable. They feel like they're not worthy. But they've come so far. They have. There's a need for discipline here. There's a need for self-control. There's a need to be proud of who you are. So we have somebody here that um, 
doesn't even realize that destiny is bringing them a big, 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 big love. If you are in a coupled relationship right now, you know, I'm not sure. Somebody may be wanting love. They may want a bigger love. They may be making a change because they're not uh, getting what they deserve. We could, we may have somebody here that is thinking about becoming single because they're in a contract right now. Maybe it's a karmic contract. They're in some sort of contract where there's no reciprocation. There's lies. There's deception, there's an injustice, there's lack of accountability, there's lack of integrity, and they've been investing in it and it's not growing. And they're, you know, so we have somebody here that is finding their strength and their courage and their confidence to uh, hold their head up high and go in a new direction because they want big love. And there is absolutely positively big love to be had, that's for darn sure. Anyhow. Um, seven of pentacles reverse that's that's dissatisfied over something somebody's going to be dissatisfied somebody's some or they are dissatisfied they're dissatisfied with it with an outcome that didn't turn out in their favor and that's another story because the justice card is something not turning out um in your favor somebody has invested in something uh, maybe even financially, they may have invested in something financially, or, they, or, in a, or it doesn't have to be financially. Anyhow, somebody has invested in something that didn't grow. They didn't grow. It didn't grow. Or it, there's no, there's no fertility there, and uh, they may have wasted a lot of money doing so. Maybe, maybe they uh, didn't, didn't see that love was more important. Anyway. Um, anyhow, there is an opportunity for love here. And there's somebody who's going to be expressing their feelings towards an individual who has uh, been determined to overcome some sort of obstacle. Okay, we have a strong, determined individual here who has uh, turned their back on a situation where they were not treated fairly, where they were not... Uh, given what they deserve, where they were not valued, and this person is going to be getting an opportunity that they are destined to receive. Okay, just saying. A new cycle is about to begin, definitely, and there's going to be big, huge love here. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is, there's been a delay. There's been some sort of stagnation. We have an individual that was involved with somebody that was not qualified, that didn't accept responsibility, that wasn't really committed. This person may have been unfaithful. They may, or unloyal or disloyal. They may have been jealous. They may have been possessive. They uh, didn't have anything to offer. They had no long-term plan. But I feel like we have a, I feel like this person is, there could be a relocation on the horizon here. Somebody may be putting a stop to something. The Knight of Pentacles reversed is, is not going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. There's no growth. You know, there's no growth. So something is, something is coming to a halt, I believe. There's definitely going to be a change. There is going to be a change. We have somebody here that, isn't stable. They aren't stable. It's definitely going to be an emotional day as well. It is going to be an emotional day because that's a flood of emotion. There's there's some sort somebody I hate to say this, I know I'm changing the story, but when you get justice reversed, we could have somebody here that is breaking the law on this day. Next to the Knight of Pentacles. I'm wondering if there's some sort of um yeah, breaking the law. We have somebody here that is definitely unstable, unstable, unstable. And it feels like they invested. They invested in somebody that, you know...
lied to them? Somebody has been lied to. They have been lied to. Somebody has been lied to. Somebody may have been thinking they were going to get a reconciliation with somebody. Just saying. And they may have invested in this person and now this person has turned their back on them and, and has put a stop to things and has decided to go in another direction. So that's for somebody else. Hangman. So the hangman reversed is refusing to let go, struggling to let go, struggling to th see things differently. Uh, I'm not sure if there's some sort of punishment that is coming. We may have somebody here that is uh, trying to punish another person with the hangman reverse. This is somebody who's trying to prove something that is unwilling. This is somebody that is controlling and they are unwilling to let go. Somebody is unwilling to let go of something. Maybe it's an opinion or a person. Somebody is unwilling to let go of a person that they are very, very, very much attracted to. You know, they're attracted to this person. They can't let this person go. And I feel like the person that they can't let go um, is moving in a new direction. And I feel like there could be some dissatisfaction that there's no more investment. And there could be, you know, some in instability or insecurity that causes... Uh, An injustice. But I see that justice card reversed. Somebody could be breaking the law. And they want because they're you know, they're all emotional. I do see emotional here. So it's interesting. I'm changing the story completely. We have a very uh, attractive individual here that is very strong and very forceful. Um, you know, this person is a force to be reckoned with. It feels like this person is no longer investing in a contract that they may have put a lot of money into or a lot of time into it's like they're no longer investing and it could cause some sort of upset we may have somebody here that is not wanting not wanting this person to go not wanting this person to uh, leave them behind mm. and there could be a fight even on this day okay this this five of wands this is a fight so i'm not sure if there's going to be a fight I know I just changed a story, but there's thousands of people that watch this. Um, there's, there's, we got the justice reverse. That's something not turning out. That's something not turning out. There's been, somebody's been lying. They haven't been telling the truth about their intentions. They haven't been. And I feel like there's going to be a fated event. And I don't need the tower. I can see it with the, with the Wheel of Fortune card. There's going to be a fated event that changes the situation. Somebody's going to be getting some karma as well. I think we have one person. I mean, that Ace of Cups is love, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's emotional. An outpouring of emotion. It could be tears. Um, we have somebody here that is going to be expressing their feelings to somebody. And it feels like they're not going to get the reciprocation that they thought that they were going to get. And I feel like it's going to... Um, I feel like it's going to make somebody upset. I feel like it's going to cause a fight of this five wands. I feel like it's going to cause a fight. I feel like we have somebody here that has a big ego. I mean, the hangman reverse, somebody has a big ego. This is somebody who's going to think about it, think about it, think about it. Think. They're thinking about somebody that they love, that they were very attracted to, that they may have thought they were destined to be with. It looks like it's a karmic contract to me. Okay? They're thinking about somebody that they used to be with, that they love, and there's there's nothing solid coming from it. This person isn't investing anymore. And I feel like there's some sort of instability here and insecurity that and that this isn't good. It's not good. Even though and I think whoever they're dealing with may have a new love. You know, they may have a new love. 
you know, somebody could show up, but I see the wheel, I think the tires, somebody could show up. They could show up and, and find somebody with a new love and, you know, it could be a problem. There could be a fight. There could be a fight. Anyhow, um, you know, the hangman reverse could be some sort of punishment. It could be probation. It could be parole. It could be getting arrested. And, that, and it's like literally mirroring the justice card. So, and there's consequences. There's consequences. So I do feel like somebody may be receiving some sort of consequences for their, their instability or something like that. Um, there's definitely a change that is coming, okay? And it does have to do with love. It has to do with feelings. It has to do with the heart. Um, somebody is uh, not happy with an outcome, okay? They're not happy with an outcome. They're not happy with a decision that has been made. And I feel like, I feel like they're unstable to begin with. And I feel like, you know, they're going to, they're going to want to hold on. It feels like they're going to, I don't know, I feel like they're going to get upset. Um, oh my God. Knight of Swords reverse. So yes, I, that was a yes the answer to. I feel like they're going to get upset. This is somebody that leads others into danger that is out of control. This is somebody that uh, can't control themselves, loses control. Somebody could lose control. They could. You know, this is this is an untrustworthy individual that's probably going to get really really angry. Maybe over a rejection with this Knight of. Knight of Pentacles reverse, like somebody may be offering somebody, you know, a gift or, or a gesture of love or something like that, and they don't get any reciprocation, you know, and they get really upset, and there could be, you know, I do think there's going to be a fight, there could be an altercation, and somebody could end up arrested, <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that for Valentine's Day, but that could certainly be the case, um, No, I've given a few stories already. And some and it's interesting that I just said that a few stories. There could be a few stories going around. You know, and that's interesting. I do feel like this is this is all in the name of love. I feel like we have somebody here that is in love with a person that is not in love with them. And that's gonna cause some sort of uproar. You think of the Knight of Swords reversed, it's kind of like a tower moment. It really is. And it could lead to a permanent loss. Okay, so I do, or, you know, I don't know. I, I, when I see this and somebody's got their arms behind their back, I think of handcuffs. So I'm not sure if somebody's going to end up in handcuffs. They could. They absolutely could. Um, so yeah, I think in, in, in the Ace of Cups, it is about love and I do see self-love here. That is needed. Somebody needs to love themselves more than another person. There is nobody that completes you. And that is a meaning of the nine of pentacles in reversed. You complete you, not another person. So I feel like that's a big message that somebody needs to learn uh, or hear. Um, don't get upset if you're not getting the reciprocation. There is big love to be had. If somebody isn't reciprocating, it's not meant to be. And there is an opportunity for love that is meant to be. Because love, the wheel of fortune, meant to be. But you have to hold your head up high. You don't need to know your value. You need to be proud of who you are. But anyhow, I do see that there is some punishment that is coming. Or something for an individual that cannot control their temper. And I think it's over a rejection. I think it's over some sort of rejection. Um, and I hate to say that, but I think that's exactly what it is. Um, for some of you, there is an offer of love coming that is meant to be. That is for the person that knows their value and has been working on self-love. Good luck. <laughs>